Tensions are high in Guinea following Sunday's general election. Official results are not out yet, but the opposition candidate has declared himself the winner. For days, Chelu Dalin Diallo's supporters have been involved with clashes with security forces. Conakry is burning, although the outcome of Guinea's presidential election is still days away. The prospect of a third presidential term for incumbent Alpha Conde is fueling desperation and fury among supporters of the opposition. I am speaking to the election commission. Alpha Conde has been in power since 2010, instead of Diallo. We, all of Guinea, chose the Union of Democratic Forces of Guinea. That's what Guinea wants. If the UFDG is not elected, Guinea will not be calm. But Guinea is already far from calm. The current bout of violence started the day after the election, when opposition candidate Diallo declared himself the winner of the ballot, before the release of official results. I am victorious in this election in the first round. But it was too soon to celebrate. Over the last few days, the Election Commission has made official results available as they come in from constituencies. And so far, they're not confirming the victory that Diallo claimed was his. The man in the lead is Alpha Conde, the man who's led Guinea for the past 10 years. The opposition is crying foul and has been venting their anger on the streets. With deadly consequences, says Guinea's security minister. Four bodies in Conakry, four bodies of gunshot victims in the morgues of Donka and Ignazdin hospitals. One death from a stab wound, two deaths from firearms in Kizidugu. Those weren't the only victims of Guinea's post-election violence. And there are fears there will be more. On Wednesday night, DLO called on his supporters to continue their fight in a Twitter video posted from home. You are already fighting heroically in Conakry and across the country, despite savage repression, despite arbitrary arrests and intimidation. This fight is heroic, and it will inevitably be victorious. The country now awaits the final results of the election. But by the looks of the last few days, it's unlikely they'll resolve the tension. Let's go over to DW's West Africa correspondent, Fred Mavunyi. He is in Lagos. Hi, Fred. It's good to see you. Is some kind of a power-sharing compromise plausible in Guinea? I say this because when we've had similar instances uh, in other parts of the continent, that's what it's come down to. Is it plausible in Guinea? Um, uh, Christina, these uh, main uh, main rivals in Guinea, that is the incumbent president and the, and, 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 and the opposition figure, Seru Diaro, uh, this is the third time they, that actually they are, they are contesting. Uh, so in the last two times, there have been nothing like this, like talking about power sharing. So this time, no one knows whether they will go up to that. Mm. But what we know is that the incumbent president, Alpha Conde, has said that uh, in case he wins the election, he's willing to talk with the opposition. OK. The result is still in contention. Um, but were there any independent election observers, Fred, and, and what have they said? Uh, so far, the African Union and the ECOWAS, that's uh, the regional bloc of West Africa, they have already declared that uh, the, the voting process was transparent, something that has been disputed by the opposition uh, in, in Guinea. Uh, and um, uh, you have to know that they, the, the, the opposition figure, Seru Diaro, himself has declared a winner even before the Electoral Commission announces uh, the, the, the official result. So at this moment, the observers said that the, the election, electoral process was transparent transparent, but uh, the people in Guinea, they contest that narrative. Okay, Fred, just, just coming back to, to these two men contending uh, for this presidency, and as if you rightfully told us, um, it's the third time they're having a go at it. Um, they've got, both got big profiles in Guinea. Um, the incumbent, though, President Alpha Conde, is he more than 
another old man clinging to power? Uh, well, that seems to be uh, the pattern, especially in the West Africa uh, uh, region, where uh, currently you see what is happening in Ivory Coast. They have had to change the, 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 the constitution so that the incumbent president can run for a third term. Uh, then that, the same thing happens in Guinea, where uh, Alpha Conde has actually been in power for only two terms for 10 years. Uh, he's, he has forced to change the constitution so that he can run for another term. But people have to know that this guy cannot be in the same basket as other people who have been in power for two decades, three decades, even four decades. He's just been in power for only two, uh, two terms, that's 10 years. Uh, but, but, but then the change of the constitution itself raises questions about his motives. And his age also is very questionable. He's 82 years old. Mm. Uh, Fred, what about his main challenger, Chelu Dalian Diallo? He's no newcomer to political power, is he? Yes, he's very, very known. He has occupied several ministerial posts uh, under uh, President Arasana Conte, that is uh, some couple of years ago. He has been also the prime minister. He's very, very experienced uh, politician. And he has also massive support from Frani community, which is really one of the biggest uh, um, ethnic group in Guinea. So he has massive support. He has experience, but of course, he's facing uh, a very <laughs> strong uh, uh, incumbent president. Fred, when can we expect the final official results from this election? Thank you. Yeah, the final official results are expected uh, in eight days. Uh, that means that after the, the, the provisional results have been announced, then the, the, the candidates have at least eight days to file a petition in Supreme Court, just uh, in case they have, uh, they have uh, problems, they question the results, and then the, 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 the Constitutional Court will declare the final results. But if any candidate gets below 50, then there will be a second, uh, a second brand, which is scheduled on 24th of November. All right, that's Fred Muvunyi in Lagos for us. Thank you, Fred.